Hello, this time, I want to present you, some features in Basics Kasha modules, that you can use, in order to increase productivity. I hope, that each of you can learn and use these features, or remember, for who already know them, to use more often, to improve your skills. Starting from an empty part, I will convert the body into part body. Next, add a new sketch in body 1. Insert an elongated hole. Next, another one. Next, a rectangle. Next, a circle, with 4 mm radius. I will fully constrain, the first elongated hole, as shown. Next, I will reuse parameters in sketch, by inserting a new circle, and copy radius dimension, from first circle. First select circle button, then select the first circle, then right click on it, and from the parameters, click copy radius, then select the circle location. And again, in same way, for the other holes. We can copy also length, as presented. Click on line button, then select elongated hole axis, right click for menu, then select from parameters, copy length, then select the location for the new line, as shown. It's also possible, to reuse parameters from other kind of geometrical shapes, as presented, in order to speed up the process. Next, I will constrain the other two profiles. Now, I will connect dimensions and radius values, to first elongated hole parameters, as shown. Next, click on Profile Feature button to define profile, by selecting Geometry as shown.
proceed in same manner, for the other two profiles. As the profiles are defined, they appear in the specification tree, under outputs. Next, I will fully constrain the sketch. Now, I will animate the angle constraint in order to see how the mechanism works. So, for simple 2D mechanism we don't need the simulation module, we can use this simple feature, in order to see clashes, and verify functionality. Next, select whole radius, and right click, for menu, select radius object, and look at the new menu. Next, select tools, options, part infrastructure, and set checkbox on parameters of features and constraints. Then repeat the radius selection, and add display will appear, as shown. Click on this menu, will take the dimensions out of sketch, in the part, as you can observe. Now, the dimension can be edited, directly from part, without going in sketch, and also the output profiles can be reused. Now, I will create three parameters in part, and link with the dimensions out of sketch. All the parameters, in this example, are with single value. As the parameters are created, they appear in the specification tree, as you can observe. Next, I will link the dimensions, to the parameters. This can be done, also from sketch. In same part, I insert a new body, and create a pad within it. Next, I will save the part, in a test folder. To better distinguish, I will assign colors, to each output profile. Next, I will create a new product.
Next, I will insert new empty parts into product. I change from properties the part name to output one. Next, in same manner, I've added other two empty parts, the result being as presented. At assembly save, also the three empty parts are saved, under the test folder, as shown. Now, from part, I want to copy the output profile 1, into a new body, in the empty part, from product. But, this is not possible, because the output profile, is not published. The setting that prevents this, is here, and according to your work policy, you should keep or uncheck. Next, I will publish, all three output profiles, as presented. Now, again, I will try to copy, the first output profile. I proceed in same way, for other two profiles, the result is as presented. Now, in each output part, I will create a pad, using the external reference to output profile, as shown. After saving this product, I will add the part itself. Next, I will copy all three parameters from part to product. Next, with product active, I will link each part parameter, to corresponding one, from product, as shown. I proceed, in same way for other two. Next, after I hide the output profiles, I change the parameters from product, and update it. All the output profiles are updated, same for all contained parts, only by changing, product parameters values. To control the visibility of parameters and formulas, you should activate them, from the menu, as shown. Next, I will measure, the inertia for whole assembly. At customize, check the principal axis, for measuring and displaying the bounding box dimensions, for current assembly position, also check keep measure, to be added at the end of specification tree. So, the last three selected dimensions, represent the bounding box dimension. All the selected measures, can be exported as presented, to text file. 